Okay, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, surrounding yourself with good things because not enough importance um, is really given to that and I think it can make a world of difference. I mean, if you eliminate one negative or one bad thing from your life and from your lifestyle, it's going to make all, all that much more difference. Um, you know, for example, you're in recovery for an eating disorder and you have a friend who you know, you, you may find them sweet, you may enjoy their company sometimes, you might like talking to them, but they're also not quite in the same place as you are, and by that I don't mean that everyone has to be in the same place in order to be friends, but some people just aren't ready for recovery, and they may be struggling, but they don't have that readiness mindset, and that's an important thing to have, and unfortunately, it's very hard to have a friendship with someone who can sometimes be toxic or who can bring you down in a way that hinders your recovery. Sometimes um, you can be in a strong enough point in recovery that that doesn't matter and you can deal with it and you're not triggered. But other times that's not the case and recognizing that and admitting that to yourself is, is pretty much a really big thing and it's, it's not something to look down your nose at and it doesn't mean that you think you're better than the person who you're trying to, um, you know, back away from a little bit. It just means you're doing the right thing by yourself. You're trying to be healthy. It's something for you. It's not selfish, even though it might seem selfish. And sometimes it just needs to be done or you're not going to get any farther than you already are. So that's an example of um, surrounding yourself with good things because by good things I also mean good people and you know for every person out there who's going to bring you down and hinder your recovery there's probably ten people who want to help you and support you and I know that you can find um, good support networks if you really look for them because they're there and sometimes it only takes one person who can help you and support you to be enough you know other people might need ten but to each his own to each her own and you can do it. So that's my advice for the week.